No prizes for guessing, it's getting windy, it's getting colder, and we're going to see some snow as well. Initially, the snow coming across the northwest of uh, Scotland. Here we have a Met Office severe weather warning for the rest of the day. The snow level dropping, the wind strengthening, blizzards and drifting, all adding up to dangerous travelling. Now you can see from the uh, radar picture the extent of the showers, not just across Scotland but also Northern Ireland. These are going to turn increasingly to sleet and snow. A few of them driving their way through the central lowlands, but not many getting across the Grampians and into Aberdeen. Some sunshine around here. But just look at what's heading our way. All these showers, you can see the speckles on the uh, satellite picture. All those showers are coming all the way from Greenland. It's getting colder and those showers are turning wintry. Ahead of that, we have all this cloud that's been affecting England and Wales, producing a bit of rain and drizzle here and there, and it's slowly working its way southeastward, so a ragged clearance for northern England and Wales. Something a bit brighter later this afternoon, but still some showers. Plenty of showers, though, further north for Scotland and for Northern Ireland, turning more and more wintry, and it's turning colder. Temperatures three or four degrees here, but feeling much colder given the strength of the wind. Further south, 9 or 10, but even here it will feel rather chilly because it is still a rather windy. Now, it will turn colder overnight. Initially, the cold and snowy air is across the northwest, but as the colder air just digs its way southwards, so we'll see the risk of sleet and snow pushing southwards as well. Could be a dusting almost anywhere by the end of the night, but the worst of the snow coming across the uh, hills of Wales northwards, I suspect. And a cold night as well. Temperatures close to freezing, and because of that, it could well be quite icy out and about. A cold day to come tomorrow as well. We've got a mixture of sunshine and uh, blustery, heavy, often wintry showers. Not too many across the east to begin with, but plenty in the west, and those will drive their way eastwards through the day. I think the worst of the snow by the afternoon really falling across Scotland, I suspect. But it really will feel cold. Temperatures 4, 5, perhaps 6 or 7 in the south, but colder given the strength of the wind. And it could be very windy indeed across the southwest of England in the morning. Potential for some damaging gusts of 60 or 70 miles an hour. We may well see gusts of 50 or 60 across some other parts of southern England during the middle part of the day. The winds here, though, should ease later. And by then it will be very windy across Scotland, 60 miles an hour or more here. The winds ease in Scotland overnight, and we've got a big change midweek. Milder Atlantic winds coming in, feeding in these weather fronts, bringing in some cloud and outbreaks of rain. That rain pushing its way eastwards through the day and lifting the temperatures. And it looks like Thursday should be a pretty cloudy day for most of us with some outbreaks of rain and those temperatures lifting across much of the country as high as 11 or 12. That's the weather. Back to you, Darren.